Welcome back everyone. Dino Joe here. We got 70cc class. Three Husqvarna, Echo, Makita, and three steels. Get all these topped off with fuel and oil. Get some weights on them. Don't put them on the dyno. See who comes out on top. Echo CS7310. This has dual spikes. 16 pounds, 15.1 ounce. There's the metric. Here's the low top, OE372, 15 pounds, 15.1 ounce. Here's the 372X torque. 16 pounds, 9.4 ounces. There's the metric. Five seventy two XP. Sixteen pounds, ten point eight ounce metric. All right, here's the results. These four on the graph were the bottom four. The OE372, Xtorque372, the Echo7310, and the Husqvarna572. The numbers in this box, taken at 9,600 RPM. Just like everybody says, the Echo7310 is very similar to the Husqvarna372. It has a bit more torque. But they peak about the same type of power. The 572 runs away from these three. But it just didn't have quite enough to catch the top four. Alright, here's the report results. Lowest power, 8th place, the X-Torque 372. Then the low top OE 372. Then the 7310. Then the 572. Alright, if these videos are your thing, make sure to hit the like button. Leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing. If you want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot, everybody. Makita 7901. 16 pounds, 9.2 ounces. Metric. All right, just wanted to point out the Makita here. This is an old model, 2011 saw. These are supposed to be the better runners. It doesn't have the SLR tube in the muffler that the late model ones do. These older ones, supposed to be the lighter, more powerful ones. So we'll see, but I just wanted to mention that. Steel 500i. This one has aftermarket large spikes. 16 pounds, 7.7 .7 ounces. There's the metric. 
Steel 461. This has got the wider cover and the larger spikes. I believe it's the R cover. 17 pounds, 6.8 ounce. There's the metric version. Steel 462, 15 pounds, 13.6 ounces, dual spikes and the three quarter wrap. There's the metric number. Here's the results for the top four most power. 500i, 462, 461, and 7901. You can see it on the graph. 500i makes the most power, makes real good torque down low. This is the 462. It's light on torque which is what everybody says about it. But it has the RPM and carries out and makes horsepower up top. So if you like smaller bars, 462 might be better. 461 right here in the middle. Good power, nice and flat, and all sorts of torque down low. Which, that goes along with what most everybody says about the 461. The Makita. Just right in the middle, nice power band. Good torque, good power, nothing wrong with it. Nice light saw. You'll notice the 500i curve has this goofy dip in it. What that is, is the fuel injection trying to fight me. They have all sorts of throttle response and snap up high when you're on the trigger for limbing, taking off small branches, getting brush out of the way. But any kind of load, the fuel injection catches it, richens it up. You can hear it in the video. So that's what this goofy dip is. The 500 eyes do it to me almost every time. Every time I try and they wind right out, I try and put a little load on. They try and correct and then gets into the meat of the power. But pretty safe to say that you could connect these right down similar to this run but that's what this goofy dip is almost every time on the 500 eyes that fuel injection fights me trying to load them all right fourth most power the makita 7901 then the steel 461 third the 462 second and the 500 eyes first the 500i and the Makita are both 78, 79 cc, so they're the high side of the 70 cc class anyway. If you look, the 461 actually makes the most torque. 4.8 foot-pounds. That's a decent chunk better than the 462, which makes sense because everybody says the 462s lack torque. But they're real high strung, they make a lot of power. From the lowest power saw to the highest power saw, it's about 25%. There's really no winners or losers here. Whatever feels the best, whatever has the sharpest chain is going to cut the most for you. You have the weights full of fluid. If you run a 20 inch bar on any of them or a 36 on any of them, it's going to change it too. These numbers are just to show you guys 
what they all put out on the same day using the same fuel. This isn't any kind of gospel. Just one saw on one day. If you're struggling between two of these saws, hopefully this helps you out. Whichever your local dealer is, whoever has the best support, wherever you can get parts, those are all things to keep in mind. Power's nice, but any of these ported up are going to outdo any of the others. Buy the cheap saw, get it fully ported, and it's going to make more power than all of these. Alright, here's the smaller 70ccs. 461 is the biggest one. Makes sense why it makes the most torque. But I just wanted to split these up because this is how most people will make their purchase. 372X torque, 7310, 572, 462, 461. Just wanted to show everybody these on their own graph. Alright, now what I'm going to do, since the 500i and the 7901, those are the high end of the class. I got the printouts separating them. 